came to win, to fight, to conquer. Oh my god, you poked my fucking eye. You know what I want to say? Hi, you guys, welcome to my. I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, Beauty is Her Name, and you guys, we're going to get right into this video. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm just using my Elmer's glue stick to glue down my eyebrows after I use the eyebrow spoolie to brush them upwards, and then as you guys can see, I'm using the hair dryer. I did that about six times in between layers, um, and then I'm now going in with my concealer out of my correcting conceal palette as you guys can see we are cre recreating jessica rabbit's um famous makeup look um with the pink and purple eyeshadow and the red lipstick of course we have to conceal our eyebrows so we we can you know draw on some eyebrows like jessica rabbit's um so um, that's all I did there. After I put the concealer down, I blended everything out and put some powder over top to set it, which is my Anastasia powder. And now I'm just concealing my face, you guys. Um, and after I concealed my face, I went ahead and put down some more Anastasia powder. Now going in with my newest foundation that I'm trying here. The Maybelline was going okay, but it seemed like it had more of like a beige undertone, so it was way too light for my skin. So now I'm trying this CoverGirl. And you guys, after looking at some of my videos, I do think with me having to use a lot of concealer, um, that plays a major part in the way the color is coming out for my foundation. So on my next few videos, I'm going to try to tone down using so much concealer. And now I'm just setting my face after applying my foundation, which I'm going to list everything down below that I'm using. Now, I did have to go and do my eyebrows again, you guys. I had to fix my eyebrows more than once in this video. Um, this was my first time gluing down my eyebrows and using that whole trick. So it gave me a little bit of trouble, but I pulled it together. So that's why you guys are seeing, um, you know, one eye done. And now I'm showing you guys how I'm doing the second eye. Which, as you guys can see, I kind of um, made an upside down U on top of my eye. I took that black color all the way to my eyebrow and down. And now I'm just filling it in, you guys. Starting off with the purple color. Um, and now I'm kind of just going over the outline of the black. Well, I'm going over the outline of the black. And then I actually added the pink. I was looking at the picture while I was doing this tutorial um, I might add that picture at the end so you guys can see if I can do that um, but yes yeah, so I was looking at the picture and I seen that pink and I was like she has to have some type of pink so I added the pink this is out of my Nikak eyeshadow palette and as you guys can see I kind of wanted to clean up the eyes so I did that with my LA girl pro concealer I know one of the eyebrows looks funny in this um, clip you guys but as you guys can see tada I fixed it I was not gonna leave it like that so now I'm just um, you know touching up my brows as we normally would as if they're real they look so creepy but once you see the look all together you know and you really imagine her character I feel like I did a pretty good job so I'm proud of myself you guys I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you guys would um, like to start seeing like more like character looks and stuff like that cartoon looks uh, let me know I mean I'll look into it I'm kind of all over the place it's just because I've been getting inspired here lately and I've just been going with my thoughts that's what I've been doing you guys so as you guys can see I just concealed under my brows and over top of my brows which I knew it was going to mess up that purple a little bit so of course I had to touch that up so that's all you guys see me doing um, here is just touching that up going back over it with the purple eyeshadow once I used the black I didn't use it anymore the black was just to draw the eye shape but her eye shape was completely like dark purple into pink um, you know it wasn't a whole lot of black and now I'm just going over my eyebrows with my LA colors um, pencil the black side and I'm just making the eyebrows a little bit darker and as you guys can see I'm going on to highlight my face I can't wait for you guys to see this tutorial um, I really had a lot of fun with this look 
This was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid, and when the thought came to mind to do this makeup tutorial, I was like, I can't do that, but I mean, I love how it turned out. I guess I proved myself wrong. But if you guys like this video, please like this video. Thumbs it up because I want to know what you guys like. Um, you know, and it helps me, you know, connect with you guys and know what videos to do so you guys will come back and watch. And of course, if you're new here today, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I tried to make my um, highlight on my nose very thin, being that she did have a thin nose. And now I'm just going back in, touching up my highlight with my Cardi um, Professionals Corrective Concealer Palette just to lighten it up. And as you guys can see, I'm now setting my highlight with my Anesthesia Powder only. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, you guys, for Transformation Tuesday. I will be live on Facebook at 12. I would love for some of you all to come by and see me transform. I don't know what look I'm going to do just yet, but you guys should definitely come check me out if you can. And now I'm just contouring my face, you guys. Um, contouring right under my highlight, um, as you guys can see, with my Kabuki style brush. And I'm just blending upward which I did also hit my temples and around my forehead and I'm just blending everything in and now highlighting down my nose once again because I felt like I needed to touch that area up some of the purple kind of blended down into my contour I don't know if you guys can tell but I could so you guys are going to see me mess around with the nose yeah I'm just trying to fix it and get that per all that purple out of there um, of course I had to dip back into the palette again and and that was my anesthesia contour kit that I'm using um, and now I'm just highlighting under my contour with my LA girl pro concealer and now I'm setting it using my angled um, beauty blender with my anesthesia powder um, and now with the liner you guys we're just gonna keep it simple just a simple wing um, and I try to get it you know all the way out to the edge and then um, under the eye with our um, LA Colors um, liner, and then I also put some down, some um, excuse me, some shiny eyeshadow, and then kind of just did my waterline with the uh, with the liner. And now, as you guys can see, I added on my lashes. Yes, the lashes really made the look come alive, along with the lipstick. With your lashes, you kind of want to drag them out over top of your wing. Not all the way covering your wing, but almost covering your wing. You want to drag them out. That way they look like they're, um, you know, as you guys can see, they, they look, they make my eyes look a little bit longer, um, I guess. I don't know, but um, I've seen it in a few tutorials that I watched. I did watch a few tutorials before creating this look just to get an idea. And I believe um, one of the channel names, Dope, um, 2111 I've been watching her for a while promise and also Andrea's choice I watched her tutorial those were the first two that came up and I watched those briefly so one of them said that that was a good idea to make the eyes look more cartoonish and you know popped so that's what I did and as you guys can see I'm just taking my hair out um, and I love the way the curls came out for that um, you know signature bang that she always has in the front of her eye and I also seen in um, these tutorials to add a little bit of white to the lips so that's what I did to kind of make them look more cartoonish and pop um, and now adding my NYX finishing spray to set my face you guys and of course I'm gonna go in and highlight um, ever since I learned about the NYX finishing spray or your setting spray before the highlight it just has kind of made this highlight come to life so I am enjoying it here lately um, and I'm just blending everything out with my Beauty Bond fan brush blending 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 making sure everything looks okay I'm so happy with this look you guys um, I really enjoyed 
um, creating this look for you guys. I appreciate you guys supporting me and coming by to watch this video. There will be more videos coming soon, so you guys continue to stay tuned. Um, I will be uploading up until Thursday this week, <clears throat> so just continue to stay tuned. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow on Facebook at 12 p.m. if you can, 12 p.m. I mean, yeah, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be there to transform um, and create a look for you guys. So I love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye.